Hi, how are you? Get a hoe. I have a riddle for you. I just read some stuff in here that uh, will give you a hint to what's going on. I'm still reading the 15 biggest lies about the economy and everything else the right doesn't want you to know about taxes, jobs, and corporate America by Joshua Holland. Good writer. Excellent. Okay, on page 207. Illegal immigrants or illegal jobs. <clears throat> Excuse me. An unregulated sector of the economy, riff with illegal jobs, is the largely unexamined pull factor for much of the low-skilled immigration to the United States. Most recent immigrants work at jobs that fall somewhere between what's available in their native countries and the kind of jobs one would expect to find in a highly advanced economy. They also tend to be jobs that can't be easily outsourced to countries with an abundance of cheap labor. <clears throat> now going on to page 247. Free trade is a corporate power grab. It's tempting to focus only on the economic impacts of trade deals such as NAFTA but it's just as important to dig deeper into the anti-democratic nature of the free trade orthodoxy pushed by big business. All too often, progressives tie themselves up in knots discussing trade because they argue the issue on corporate America's terms instead of going to the root of the matter. Free trade isn't free, and it often has nothing to do with what most people would consider trade. If the central question we're asking is free trade or protectionism, the debate is already lost. That's how the global, the corporate globalizers have presented it. And that's how the media, which clearly have a horse in the race, report it. And that's why the so-called free traders have been able to keep the upper hand. Here's the truth about free trade agreements. <clears throat> when you talk about trade policy, you're really talking about the enormous influence of corporate power over democratic governance. Senator Sherrod Brown, D. Ohio, and the gutsy leader of the Fair Trade Caucus explained the close connection during the head up, lead up to the vote on the Central American Free Trade Agreement, CAFTA, in 2005. Our political system is now up for the highest bidder, Brown told me at the time. Energy bills are written by oil companies, and environmental bills are written by the chemical companies. Similarly, this trade agreement, CAFTA, but other trade agreements, too, have been written by a select few for a select few. And that select few is typically the drug industry, the insurance and financial institutions, and the energy companies, and the largest multinational corporations. It's the same old song, whether it's international or it's domestic. And in his book, The Myths of Free Trade, Brown described thousands of corporate jets stacked up over D.C. as the vote neared, carrying industry execs eager to descend on the city to lobby for the agreement. Trade policy is clearly an insider's game. In their book, Whose Trade Organization, Lori Wallach and Patrick Woodall found that among the hundreds of experts who sat on the advisory boards that hammered out the thousands of pages of WTO and NAFTA rules, there were only a handful of representatives of labor. The rest were multinational execs and various lawyers, lobbyists, and sundry in industry experts. There was almost zero input from human rights groups, environmentalists, or the rest of society. It's not only that the treaties we've signed are flawed, but the process by which they're created makes it all but impossible that they would benefit working people or protect our commons. These are simply not corporate America's priorities, nor those of its counterparts in Japan or the EU. Now, my riddle is this. What is the biggest, oldest granddaddy of corporations that deal a lot 
in human trade, so to speak, and there's more that I'll bring later, but I'm asking for your guess. Who do you think it is? It's big, 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 richest around. Leave a, leave a quote. I mean, leave a comment. Anything, please. Give me a guess. You get three guesses and the first two don't count. And I'll leave a couple of comments down in the description. And have a great night or day wherever you are. Later.